So what's up? Like, does it just mean it, it, like referendums don't matter yeah. because I mean that referendum is sussy as fuck, obviously. But like the the ultimate surveys that were conducted in the aftermath of that fucking referendum, okay? The surveys that were conducted in the aftermath of that referendum say that regardless of the referendum's outcomes, the surveys conducted by Western outlets saw that the the decisions actually corresponded to the will uh, the the interest and the willingness of the majority overwhelming majority of people living in Crimea okay and and you're still like no I don't care I don't give a shit like I don't want it If the people vote to stay in Ukraine, then it's real. But if they vote to go to Russia, it's fake. How the White House is responding to all this. Weijia Jiang joins us from the White House. Weijia, good morning. Good morning to you, Brad, and good morning to everybody. President Biden had a phone call with British Prime Minister Boris Johnson Monday afternoon, hoping to hash out a diplomatic solution. But they are very realistic about what this Russian aggression could mean. These two leaders also talked about beefing up security on NATO's eastern flank and vowed once again to take severe action against Russia if it attacks. Although lawmakers on Capitol Hill have yet to reach a consensus on a sanctions package, they are still trying to work that out as well. Now, yesterday, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan briefed senators about the situation. Both Democrats and Republicans expressed concerns afterward, agreeing that Russia is prepared to invade and that the situation is a dangerous one. Today, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin heads to Lithuania, Poland, and Belgium, where he will attend a NATO defense meeting. He also plans to visit U.S. troops. If Russia invades Ukraine, the U.S. is considering providing a $1 billion loan to help secure the Ukrainian economy. They are also talking to several regions about the natural gas supply in case of a major disruption.